to you're on the sidelines for a couple of weeks. Are your loads still being managed or are you back to 100% now? Uh, no, loads still getting managed during the week, um, but definitely pushing into that 100% range. So, you know, just the next few weeks is probably going to be managing me early in the week and then um, we'll be fine once we get to a few weeks down the track. During that time off, you spent some time in the Neeful coach's box. What did you learn from that experience? Um, it was pretty interesting, actually. It was pretty um, relatively quiet. You can't really hear much atmosphere, but um, I definitely know you get a better view from in the coach's box. You can see a lot more um, up there than you can on the ground. So I think from their perspective, it's probably been easier for them to see what's happening on the ground. Um, and then also just run, you know, your running patterns and um, you know, how much it, it influences the team when you make certain runs. So I thought that was probably a big one that stood out for me. Did you take anything from that that you'll implement with your own game? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, well, I think selfless running is part of my game anyway, but I think that that's something I will implement a bit more. Um, I notice it, it shows a fair bit um, out on the ground and also how important it is to be clean in certain scenarios, so hopefully I can bring that into my game as well. In terms of your, your role, you're spending less time in the midfield these days with Ablett, Ablett and Prestia back. Are you happy with that or you want to push, push back into that midfield group? Um, no, I definitely want to push back into the midfield group. Um, I don't think it's a, a massive issue or anything like that that Ablett and Presti are playing in there but I'm uh, gonna, definitely going to try to squeeze my into there as the year pro progresses. So. North Melbourne this week, important for the boys to bounce back? Yeah definitely, um, you know we looked at we looked at the review for Brisbane, uh, we went through the edits and we're probably more looking forward to, the, to this week now, um, I think that's in the past now, there's nothing we can do about the, the results so we're just looking forward to North Melbourne this week. They've got some really good contested football winners and Zebul, Wells, uh, Cunnington as well. How do we beat them? Um, oh, I think that our game plan probably um, is, their, is their weaknesses to some degree. Um, we're a really fast, fast team and we move the ball quickly so we've got a lot of powerful runners and I think we're going to use that to, to break open. Just personally, what are your focus areas for the rest of the season? Um, well, at the moment, just managing to, to stay fit and healthy on the field but um, besides that, I definitely want to you know, probably take my game to a new level in terms of last year was good, um, really enjoyed it and I uh, managed to get a bit time forward and midfield but this time I want to kind of put my, myself in that elite bracket and head towards that, that area so that consists of you know, working hard, effort um, but then also polishing my skills. So.